Gents, girls, and boys, how you doing? It's Danny Stewart here for BassJapanDirect.com with another Naked Sound review. And uh, in the intro there, you just heard me playing this bass, which uh, is actually a Funky Junk. This is Funky Junk number 32, which is my first official commissioned piece. So thanks to the customer who commissioned it as well uh, for doing that. Um, and uh, it prompts me to inform all of you that should you want to commission a funky junk you can at the link below go there and you'll see a whole uh, gallery of work that i've done uh, most of it's non-commissioned it's stuff that i just made uh put together rather um and uh, you know revived what i do is i give old disheveled and uh, you know neglected instruments a new lease of life be it kind of uh be it um you know uh, component bass from different parts or be it the old bass with original parts um, just uh, revived or refreshed you know that's what I do so the whole point is to recycle stuff so in this case uh, the customer gave me uh, some criteria oh but before I tell you about that um, if you like the uh, the intro riff that's from an. Uh, this is blatant. Sorry about this. This is a blatant uh, self-promotion here. That is from an original song of mine called uh, "Shadow of Fear," which you can download or stream at the other link given in the description and also in this video. Okay, so that's over. So the customer gave me uh, criteria, which was basically this: um, jazz bass, older body. Black pit guard, maple fretboard, mint green. That's it. So, what I came up with was I found this beautiful. What I do is I use car paint or mod model paint um, and uh, refresh the the paintwork on the on the body and headstock. I'm not a professional finisher, by the way. So these are by no means. Um, up to the level of what you would get on a, on on a factory finished um, instrument, so please don't go expecting that. But nonetheless, they are tidy and look good. You know, although you will find imperfections in there. But uh, for the price point that I offer with Funky Junks, which is anything from forty thousand yen or about three hundred and ninety dollars, three hundred eighty, three hundred ninety dollars and up, you know. It's not much money, so uh, you can get a nice base for uh, pocket money, basically, um, potentially. Depends on the spec you want. Like this one, for example, was 50,000 yen, um, plus shipping. So that includes the parts um, that I had, you know, because I keep a whole bunch of hardware pickups and whatnot necks bodies in this case i had to source the body because i didn't have an older one in stock i had to source the neck because i didn't have a maple one uh, in stock so uh, this neck by the way is an esp one that it's it comes from there uh, an outlet that i use quite often where they have um they have a school of lutery um so guitar making school um and sometimes you know bodies and necks and stuff come out of there and I'll put on sale um, at, uh, uh, at their outlet so um, that's where I get some of my stuff from when I can't find 
when I can't find second hand ones or I don't have it available immediately here. So, um, but it's 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 a very nice uh, neck actually. It plays very well. It's got uh, nickel steel uh, mix of frets or uh, sorry silver nickel uh, frets here in medium size I think or medium jumbo um, plays very well um, has good sustain you know it's got the rear pickup anyway. Um, so the pickups that I selected for this bass um, are some Goto ones that I had in stock. Basically the same as what you get in Fender Japan. And um, just for an example of what you get for 50,000 yen, um, these are what I would term as probably mid-market pickups. Uh, they're good quality, um, very low noise, and um, decent output on them. Um, and these are brand new, actually, these ones. I just I, I bought them a while ago, but had them lying around, hadn't used them yet. So this was perfect. Uh, they were perfect for this project. Um, and what I've done is I've actually uh, the laminated them with walnut like I did with the pit guard as well. The pit guard's a really old one from the 70s. It's completely scratched up and uh, had even had holes in it. Um, so I revamped that with this lam uh, um, walnut laminate and I did a black oil finish on all of that to match. So I think that looks pretty smart. It ties in nicely with the black blocks of the fretboard. Um, you know, that kind of thing ties in with the, the nut is also graphite. Um, or graphene nut, um, you know, and all of that ties in with with my logo and so on and so forth. So I do think about these things as well in terms of color scheming and balance. Um, there, so so you know, for fifty thousand yen, that that's you know the sort of what you can expect um, to get on the funky junk. Um, hardware wise, we've got a, a, a brass plate bridge here, um, and I've put. Um, steel nickel bladed saddles on that just to give it a two-tone effect I like the two-tone effect and I've done uh, all of the screw all of the screws are gold you know so we've got gold screws in a silver control plate here it looks good same with tuning pegs the screws are gold um, neck plate too that the neck joint screws are gold as well um, so that's pretty cool. I think, you know, I think it looks good, this two-tone thing. Um, and the tuners on this are actually hybrids too, because uh, I had these old Gotto tuners, which are probably Gotto OEM, uh, Gotto OEM for Greco. Um, but the posts were too thin for this headstock. So, but I had other tuners with the wider posts, which were perfect for this headstock. So I swapped the posts around. Stuff like that, you know. Um, so and one of one of the posts is off of another type of tuner actually so they're not all exactly the same these three are the same posts and that that one's a slightly different post but it all works perfectly well so it doesn't really matter but that's what you get with funky junk right it's recycled stuff that's the point so anyway uh i want to listen to this on the rear pickup So that's with the tone up. And the action on this is, is like at 1.5 millimeters, which is my, my favorite setting because you can, you can dig it. 
But you can also play with a very light touch. And you know, this th you can hear this neck. This, the neck and body were actually an uncannily good fit. So that was lucky. Um, there's almost no gap between the neck and the body there. And all no, almost no gap around the pit guard as well. You know, it was nearly perfect, which is great. You know, that lucked out there. Um, sometimes I have to make adjustments at the neck heel, you see, to get it to fit. Or I have to route out the body a little bit more at the, at the neck pocket to make the neck fit. Um, you know, so, which is more labor. But this one just shows you we lucked out there. So I think it's a great sounding instrument. And then um, on the front pickup, let's just do something there. Something like that. So that's with the tone down. Let's do finger style. Let's do uh, with the tone up. That's pretty nice. Yeah, so I'm just demonstrating there that, that you know it's the action is low enough to do that kind of stuff, you know. You know, tap. All that kind of tapping fancy crap. Um, if you want to, um, you can. So So yeah, if you want to order your own funky junk and have it, you know, the color that you want or have it with a rosewood or a maple fretboard, other materi fretboard materials maybe mm, we can get, but it's it's unlikely um, because, you know, anything that's out of the sort of standard range is going to be more expensive, of course, and maybe e not possible to find used or outlet. Um, but, you know, we can try. We can try if if you're really serious about it. So, uh, and I do five strings as well. Of course, those are going to be more expensive, and it's hard for me to source the parts. But the last five string I did ended up being about one thousand four hundred dollars. It was an ESP Atelier Z hybrid. Came out really nicely. Um, the customer in America has it now, and say, says they're very happy with it. So you know that kind of thing's possible as well. So do go visit the link and uh, have a look at the gallery, see what sort of things are possible, and get back to me, and I'll we, we can figure something out, um, you know, within your budget. I mean that's the other thing you can come to me and say I don't want to spend more than this much money. What's what's the best you can offer me for that? What could you do for me? Um, and I'll you know I'll make you a proposal. So. How about it, guys? Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate your support all the time, and uh, I hope to uh, bring you another funky junk real soon. Cheers.